Okay, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to make your own bucket server today, uh, how to update it efficiently, and how to port forward so other people can connect to it. Uh, so let's get into it. So to start, uh, I'm going to have you download my own server files that I use for uh, my, per like, uh, my private server. As you can see, all you have to do is just go to Dropbox, click download. It's a RAR file. Uh, once you download it, you should get something that looks like this. Uh, you're going to right-click it, go into WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, it will be in the description. You're going to need this. Uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip. And you're going to click Extract here. Once you click Extract here, which I already have it extracted, uh, you're going to get the bucket server. Uh, for the bucket server, I have some default plugins such as Essentials, which is really just your essentials for a server. I disguise, which allows you to kind of troll by disguising as, uh, like, say, mobs or something. Uh, and then we have More Weather, which uh, has, like, acid rain and stuff, just uh, some cool stuff. Plugin Metrics is what the plugins need, or some plugins at least. Vanish No Packet uh, allows you to, I guess you could say, vanish by pressing uh, or typing in slash vanish. And then world edit is uh, just like uh, it's it's kind of what it implies. It uh, allows you to like edit the world with um, a magical wand. You're gonna have to look up tutorials if you want to use it if you don't know how to already. So um, as you can see, we also have uh, starter right here. You're just gonna double click this to start the server, and it should automatically start up if you have Java and uh, <coughs> everything else set up. And as you can see, it's generating a world for us. So let it uh, let it generate a world. And if you're importing a world, make sure you name it world, or you change uh, the world name in the server settings, which I'll show you soon. As you can see, we have some errors right here, but that's just a plugin error. Uh, it's something that does not uh, really, I guess, <coughs> it's not like a big error. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, so just go and go ahead and uh, ignore it. But <clears throat> as you can see, we have the server running right now. Uh, so if we go into multiplayer on Minecraft, uh, and we type or not type, we we go into Direct Connect and we type in local host join server. You're going to be able to connect to your own server uh, just like this. So I'll let it load up. Okay, uh, world generating, world generating. <laughs> okay, well, as you can see, I am in the game. There we go. I'm in the game right now, and it is running, so. Yeah, we're in Minecraft right now. But the problem is, no one else can connect to your server but you or other people on your network, so we have to fix that. Uh, so. <clears throat> to fix this, we have to use something called port forwarding. Port forwarding is basically the, for, uh, I guess, forwarding of ports that allows like uh, other people to connect to your um, to your own uh, router. So, the default Minecraft port, as you can see in the server properties file, which is right here, is two five five six five. It has to stay this way, or else uh, you're gonna have to use a colon. So, let me show you what it would look like. I put Minecraft down so I can't. But okay, say uh, this is your server address like mine. Uh, instead of just typing that in to connect, you would have to say uh, put in a colon and then type in the uh, port that you want it to be and also set it as the server port in the server property. So say I want my server port to be like 2992. That's, that's like what it's going to look like. You have to include the port or else it won't work. But uh, if you keep it to 5565, five, you don't have to worry about putting a colon or anything. Uh, server IP, you want to leave that blank no matter what. Uh, you can change the max players, the game mode, and difficulty ranging from 0 to 4. Uh, PvP, you can enable that or disable it. Spawn protection, basically it protects a certain amount of blocks. Uh, pertaining to the spawn so no one can really grief the spawn because that is not good um, generate structures that basically means it can generate villages and such 
Uh, spawn monsters allows it <laughs> allows it to spawn monsters, of course. And online mode basically means if, uh, say someone has a cracked version of Minecraft, they cannot connect to um, an online mode server. But if I were to put this to false, uh, they were to be able to connect to it. I do believe I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not like too enlightened on this sort of thing because I've never really allowed a cracked client onto my server. But you just you just have to look up a different video if you have a cracked client. Uh, okay, so this uh, file right here, you're gonna find it in the description below. You're gonna click download, and once you have it, uh, we're going to port forward. So port forwarding basically, um, you have to type in to um. A Internet Explorer, uh, such as Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome. Uh, type into the web search bar on the top, 192.168.1.1. <clears throat> this is, um, I guess, not that uh, reliant because it does change for every router. Mine is Cisco, so if you have Cisco, then it's going to be this. If you have um, some other kind of router, then it could change, like the one could change to a zero but you'd have to look up your brand and how to connect to your local area connection uh, <clears throat> to be able to get into your router so once we are in uh, you should see applications in gaming or something across those lines all you really have to do is just try to look for something called port range forwarding or just port forwarding and once you find it as you can see we have uh, minecraft already port forwarded but let's port forward it again. So we're going to type in Minecraft as the application name. You can really change it to anything. Application name doesn't like do anything. Now this is very important. You have to make sure that you um, you make the start and end port 25565 both times. And make sure the protocol is both. If you want you can just make it TCP. Redo it again. and then make the other one UDP but it's easiest just to make it uh, have both the protocols in one so and now I bet you're wondering hey what is this two IP address for basically you're gonna go into start in the search bar type in CMD enter and in the command console you're going to type in IP config press enter now scroll up a bit and you should see this IPv4 address the last of three digits is what you want to enter into the two IP address right here so mine is 121 I'm just gonna type that right in and enable it and boom if I save it it's not gonna let me because I already have a port forwarded but if I save it then now other people can connect to my own server so uh, yeah that is how God dang it. Oh, I <laughs> disabled it. That is how you port forward your own server on Minecraft. Okay, so basically to update your um your bucket server, all you're gonna want to do is just uh go to the link below or just Google search craft bucket. Go to it. And it will show you all the development builds. Usually it's um it's not really too um dangerous to go with the um newest development build but uh, all you're gonna do is just you're gonna download the dev build keep let it download and then what we're gonna do is we're going to open it with WinRAR. Click the dots up here. And once we have it, or once we see it at least, we're going to drag it into our uh, bucket server. And we're just going to delete the older version of uh, Craft Bucket. And now rename this one just Craft Bucket or just delete the extras. It has to be craft bucket or else the server won't start. And now, starter. The server is now running on the newest updated version of Minecraft. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you. And if it did, go and leave a like. If you want any other tutorials, uh, go and leave a uh, comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. See you guys.